Hello, this is Howard Chen from Emperor Direct. Today, I want to present the latest Skype Wi-Fi phone from iPebble. Before I start reviewing the phone, let me say something good about iPebble. While big name players such as GE and Philips are retreating from the Skype accessory market, iPebble is the only one I know who still actively rolls out new products in U.S. market. They should be recognized by their goodwill and the effort to serve the Skype industry. Now, if they can come up with a new deck, PC-less, cordless Skype phone, or a PC-less USB to RJ11 Skype phone adapter, it would be even better. Okay, let's look at the product. This is the retail package. At the first Games. I was confused by the picture on the cover. Shouldn't the phone come with a charging cradle as iPebble advertised? Yes, it surely does. On the back of the package, it mentioned charging cradle included. If I were the package designer, I would put the charging cradle picture on the cover too because it is a very, very good selling point. But I can also fully understand they want to focus on displaying the phone. In the box, we have the menu, the phone, the charging cradle, the battery, and the AC adapter. Compared to our previous favorite Skype Wi-Fi phone from SMC. I Pebble's offering um, adding one charging cradle, but it doesn't carry the headset. If the I Pebble Wi-Fi phone has the similar functions, features, and performance, a price point between 140 and 150 range is reasonable. Let us take a closer look at the phone. I like the look of the design. It is a little smaller than its competitor. However, it carries the same size 1.8 inch LCD color screen. I can hold it comfortably in my hand. It's not too big, it's not too small. The keypads are designed with the curved edge to provide an elegant look. When you click on the keypad, the feedback force level is just right. The volume controls are at the side of the phone, and the 2.5 millimeter headset jack is on the other side. There is one thing to be improved. The navigation buttons at here is a little bit too small. When I try to navigate to the left or to the right, I might hit the button around. Let me run through the basic functions of the Skype Wi-Fi phone, just in case this is the first time you have looked at one. The phone has a Skype program built-in and can let you conduct Skype calls without using a PC. What you need to do is to make the phone connect to your Wi-Fi network, sign in your Skype account, and you can walk around in the Wi-Fi range and do the talk. The phone supports WEP and WAP security settings. However, it does not have a browser built-in to handle the web-based login process. Therefore, you cannot use the phone in a paid hotspot or some hotels which force users to use web-based sign-in process. Let me charge the phone and I'll come back to finish my review after it is fully charged. 
OK, the charge is done. It is recommended in the user manual to perform a three to five hours full battery charge before the first time usage. When you turn on the phone, you need to connect the phone to the Wi-Fi network and sign in your Skype account. But after the first time usage, you can have this process saved in the phone and you can do that automatically for you. Just be aware, if you have more than 500 contacts in your contact list, the phone will take a very, very long time to finish the contact downloading process. How about the sound quality? I think it is acceptable. It can be at least match the cell phone conversation quality. Like all the Skype Wi-Fi phones on the market, the conversation quality is largely depend on the quality of your Wi-Fi network and also the connection between your router and to your calling destination. I have experienced crystal clear sound quality when using this phone to call our China factory. They just love the call quality and want me to keep using this phone to do our daily conversation. I have also experienced social calling quality when contacting people in US. My suggestion is this. When you encounter a bad call, just hand up and repeat the call. Skype my route you through a battery connection and solve your connection problem. Or you can check out the following website and ask the call receiver to perform a technical check on the connection quality. You might find some hints reflecting the call quality. One thing which I need to perform further investigation is on the battery life. When comparing the spec, the iPad Wi-Fi phone carries a 3.7 volt, 900 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, while the SMC phone carries a 1200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. Supposedly, the iPad Wi-Fi phone should have a shorter talk and standby period. However, on paper, it offers a similar usage time. Maybe its miniature design has helped to save some power consumption. Maybe two companies have their testing done in different testing conditions. I need to perform my own test to find out the result, and I will post the results on my blog. No matter what the result is, I think iPebble is taking the right step by including the charging cradle in the package. With this cradle sitting on the desk, people can better organize the cables and are more likely to put the phone back for charging. In the end, you might not notice the difference of the battery life because it is always in fully charged mode. OK, here is the conclusion about today's review. iPavo has done a very good design on this SO-20 Skype Wi-Fi phone. Second, sound quality can be very good when the network connection quality is good. Third, iPavo Skype Wi-Fi phone comes with a lower capacity battery, but with the charging credo included you might not notice the difference in talk time and the standby time. Thanks for watching my review on the iPavo Skype Wi-Fi phone. Please send in your feedback or visit our site at www.emprodirect.com. Mm -hmm.